Oh, maybe if I can show you a better way. Oh yeah, you can change the sprites. Uh -huh. Let's see, show you an example. Uh, Slateport City. I don't know what route the beach is on, but I'll try looking for it for a while. Found it. Okay. This is the beach. Nothing on it, but if I press the icon at the top left. Yay, people. Now, you can change the sprite, so let's try the sailor. Sailor right there. The sailor is a trainer. See the trainer thing check mark right there? That means, and uh, well, that means if you talk to him or anything, make any contact with him, he will start a battle with you. I don't know how to sign trainers to that, to something like that, but then there's also stuff. Um, view range is how far they can see, seeing you, like, you're four squares away from him, he'll see you. Five, he probably won't. Um, mm. I can change the sprite to, let's try Elliot's. Um, see how I'm pressing this up button? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ah, I just passed it. There you go. There's Elliot's sprite. It's kind of glitched up since it's all light and stuff. And the move type is how they see you or where they're going or where they're looking for now this is set at look right you can change it to something like uh... look up or look down or anything else look around or this this thing called hidden it hides the sprite there's different types of hidden so i don't i usually just pick one and stick with it and it just ends up being ah, uh, there's a light stuff computer. Okay, um so hidden just it doesn't exactly hide the spite. If I I can still run into him and touch him. It which is why I'm trying to figure a way to go through him. Um let's see. I can also since this isn't a trainer oh right, script offset. Um I'll probably talk more about it with the uh, advanced text this is actually really I don't know how to explain stuff like this um this this tells uh, how much uh, people there are 20 signposts 8 I don't know how it's find signposts so let me see um I guess signposts are the s no wait yeah signposts are the s things right here even though they're kind of scripts Anyway, they're actually, they're, they're just called signposts. Warps, yeah, I've already talked about it, and that's, what, that's the one right there. And scripts, there's none of them, so. Mm -hmm. Um, if yours doesn't work right, please just don't, just, um, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it, unless it's really simple. I'm not really that smart, so. Yay. Um, next up is advanced text, so... Welcome back. I've just set up, uh, something for you guys. Um, well, just opened up a few programs. This is advanced text, so you get to edit and input text in here. Mmm, I don't know how else. These are all the texts I've edited in areas, like Little Root, Petalburg, 104, Woods, um, Westboro, The Gym, 116, the tunnel, Duford Cave, to the second gym, and Duford Town. Woohoo! Um, these five options, exit, well, I'll, exit, 
open the open the ROM searching oh search here we go search you search for the text in the game say like uh, you can't look up just P O K E M O N in lowercase it's not gonna really find anything um you have to it's case sensitive so and the E in Pokemon really is too hard it's really you have to copy down the E or if you know how to do the E and all the numbers then like I've sometimes already put Pokemon in capital so I can find my text I put in so if we search it, it might show up let's see see uh the Pokemon well, if you choose this option be go to beginning of text instead of just saying Pokemon at the front in the beginning so it starts with the text that it was assigned first like um say it was um like I want my Pokemon and like I want my Pokemon and so then it'll only say Pokemon at the beginning so if you if you press go to the beginning of text you it'll say it'll it'll say in this part I want my Pokemon yay and so to assign text to trainers and people go to tools um, insert dialogue script I usually do it from text so it doesn't seem really complicated in the text you write anything like we don't overflow it but I don't know where the overflow marker is so I just make up one like right before the text off text offset hex so don't try overflowing it it'll probably glitch up the whole game we make if you make single space it'll just go to the next line of the text so you say so I'll say line one and if you do double space it'll show an error uh, in the game it'll show an arrow at that point when you press when you press a it'll go to the it'll directly go to the uh, next line of it like line lin lin eight then you double space it'll have that arrow then you go to the next it'll go to this in like that and if you say add script it'll bring up this um it'll bring up this uh thing it'll bring up a uh, um hex numbers it'll tell you to insert into the script off at offset which is this thing that way when you when you click on the person say like i signed it to the sailor he'll say what i let him he'll say what i put in from the advanced text um, yes. so um I guess that's pretty much it about advanced text. Oh right, you can also edit text normally with the search button. And when you save it, you go you uh, when it's it'll get saved onto here. So when you choose something like tunnel one or and you choose this person or team shot team shadow two, um, you can edit the te you can edit the text like la 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 la. You save this and you press this okay and th this thing this gray these gray letters at the bottom it says zero characters left until read point that means that it can't you can't have it over like if you add an extra letter to it it'll go to it'll say 164 characters to read point that's bad um, so don't don't uh, when it gets to zero keep it at zero or if you can make it less go ahead But then if you want to try editing it again, you'll probably have bad luck with that. So It'll say you go back to zero characters And if you press backspace again, it'll say one character left to repoint until repoint Um, so the until thing is not isn't bad, but to repoint is really bad. So there's a difference between that. And when you save, you, you if you just click on something while the while you edit the text and didn't save it, it'll go back to the original text. That's a good thing and a bad thing. And good thing is you can, it's like undoing something you did wrong. And then the bad thing is if you forget to save the text, 
then you gotta start overriding it. Yay. Um, I guess that's it for advanced map and advanced text. So...